In his first State of the Union, Barack Obama seemed to be aware that the American public is still waiting for the change he promised, particularly the middle class. That's why we're nearly doubling the child care tax credit and making it easier to save for retirement by giving access to every worker, a retirement account, and expanding the tax credit for those who start a nest egg. President Obama expressed sensitivity to the bank bailouts, a rising federal deficit, and double-digit unemployment. He promised tax cuts for small businesses and a fee for large banks that profited from federal money. I'm proposing that we take $30 billion of the money Wall Street banks have repaid and use it to help community banks give small businesses the credit they need to stay afloat. President Obama says his administration will lay a new foundation for job creation. He announced a new jobs bill and several projects around the country to stimulate work. Unemployment rates are still hovering around 10 percent, the highest rate in more than 20 years. President Obama's focus on jobs comes at a crucial time when his big plans for health care have all but stalled and he faces a frustrated electorate. He has to convince the country he understands what's needed to be done to fix the economy and that it is now his top priority. Economic analysts say more Americans are sounding off over concerns regarding the national debt. Americans are really saying that we're looking for some concern about the, the growing deficit and the, the looming debt in the economy. The president promised to tighten spending during his term and for stronger efforts in bipartisanship, at times in front of a clearly divided Congress. <laughs> While jobs and the economy were the headliners, other issues such as the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, foreign policy, the relationship with North Korea and Iran, and a repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell closed out the speech. Another issue that was noticeably lower in priority was health care, which the president said he wasn't giving up on. And it is precisely to relieve the burden on middle class families that we still need health insurance reform. President Obama's State of the Union was at times frank, direct, and at times jocular, but most of all serious on the admission that there is still much more work that needs to be accomplished. Colin Campbell, Washington.